Hi kids, welcome back. Today is week 45, day three. And our highlight verse is Romans 12, one through two. So let's open up our Bibles and look in the King James Version first. Romans 12, one through two. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, one through two. Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. Brothers and sisters, God has shown you his mercy. So I am asking you to offer up your bodies to him while you are still alive. Your bodies are a holy sacrifice that is pleasing to God. When you offer your bodies to God, you are worshiping him in the right way. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you and you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, one through two. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Wow. His plan is perfect and pleasing. Wonderful. Let's see what our foundations book says about Romans 12, one through two says Paul was still instructing the Romans in this letter. So we're still talking to the Romans, right? And Paul tells believers that taking good care of our bodies is a way to worship God. Now, why do you suppose that is? Let's think about that for a minute. Taking care of our bodies is a good way to worship God. If we didn't take care of our bodies, what would happen? we kind of fall apart, right? We wouldn't be able to do what God's word wants us to do. And that's to tell all the world about him, to tell the good news, to tell them about Jesus's forgiveness, right? That's our goal. And if we are not taking care of our bodies, that'll make us sick and we can't, we can't go about doing that. So um, Paul says believers are not supposed to be like everyone else. Christians are supposed to be different from others in the world. Now, can you see the difference from somebody who knows and follows Jesus versus somebody who does not? I know I can because I know what to look for. And that is there's the fruit of the spirit. So are they loving and kind and gentle? And um, do they exhibit self-control? There's, there's several things to look for, but what's important is that we be having those fruits of the spirit, right? That we are showing those signs because we don't wanna be um, looking like the rest of the world who can be selfish and who can be um, mean and hurting others and killing and um, their talk is bad. They speak profanities, they're swearing and um, hurting, bringing people down. We don't wanna be like that. We need to be uplifting and encouraging and loving. So Paul says believers are not supposed to be like everyone else. Christians are supposed to be different from others in the world. So I want you to just start looking at um, people and just asking yourself, hmm, are they showing fruits of the spirit? Gentleness, self-control, loving, kindness. How do we apply this to our life? It says God's love will make us different from others. And that's a good thing. Write Romans 12, two in the circle. So they have a circle in the book that you can go ahead and write in, or you can write in your journal, or you can write on a piece of paper, you can draw, make it pretty, um, give it to a friend, right? It doesn't have to be just for you. You can make it something like a card 
and give it to someone, Romans 12, 2, which is your memory verse, right? So let's go look at that right now. And Romans 12, 2, the King James Version is, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And the NIRV version says, don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, 2. Okay, so let's close in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for your love that makes me different from the rest of the world. Thank you in Jesus' holy name, amen. All right, have a great day. See you next time. Now it's time for your memory verse. Romans 12, two, the King James Version first. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. Romans 12, 2. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you and you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, 2. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. All right, great job. See you next time.